Hello everyone, welcome to Coffee Cup Enlightenment. Today's video is going to be the most six most powerful words you'll ever hear in your life. Someone like me that spent 25 years, 24-7 of doing mindfulness, they replace all of that. It condenses to, to this one simple sentence. For eons, ancient traditions, the whole origins of, of their, their teachings have been this six-word sentence. An example of it is the uh, ancient American Indians. Um, they realised um, that our ego is built at a young age, within the first few years, and then day by day it gets added upon, concept by concept, idea by idea. So as a way to curtail the growth of this ego within us, they decided that they're not going to use language until the child has reached 18 years old. So that's why you see in some of these um, um, American Western movies, the uh, the Apache um, Native Americans, they're, they're mute. They can't speak, the younger ones. And um, I don't care if you're in a permanent state of disturbance all day long, or maybe you're experiencing maybe 20, 30 disturbances a day, or maybe only just one. Or maybe even one just every every few days, if you're lucky. You can use these six words to undo every disturbance and help reduce the amount of disturbances every, every time it is actually realised the truth of this sentence. And the sentence is, I am not the disturbed one. The disturbed one is our ego, and the, the ego is in a never-ending state of disturbance to reality, to what is. The six things that the ego gets disturbed about is what someone did, what someone didn't do, what happened, what didn't happen, what someone said and what someone didn't say. So, so when you understand this, you can see it doesn't really matter what the situation is. The ego will use that situation and in a way to argue and resist whatever happened, in order to strengthen its fictitious identity. But it only gets strengthened when we identify with it. The end of ego is seeing the false as the false, recognising the ego within us and bring a distinguishment and disturbance between us and it. So whenever there is a disturbance, see if you can use these six words. I am not the disturbed one. See if you can feel these words just beyond conceptually. It may not have much of a benefit at the start, but if you keep using it, it can, once it's realised, start to take an effect. I am not the disturbed one, can undo the greatest of mind storms, and it can also undo the smallest of mind storms when they arrive. Notice our ego isn't online every, uh, every moment of the day. Many, many moments throughout our day, our, our ego is just switched offline. We forget about it. And then a situation comes along and it triggers it again. So whenever it does trigger it, use these words. Say, I am not the disturbed one, whenever you feel within yourself in this disturbance. And see if you can distinguish and discern that the, the one that is being disturbed is our ego. And it was disturbed by its own judgments about the situation. And it has become disturbed of its own comments. And it's because we identified as us making these comments and us being disturbed that it takes on a reality which isn't really there. Examples of this is when the things that make us used to cry now make us laugh. This is proof and evidence within everyone that we've transcended parts of our ego. Certain things that used to make us cry when we were five years old now when we're 20 years old or 40 years old, now make us laugh. That's because the ego doesn't project to those six things in life anymore. Somehow we've naturally become mindful and we've dissolved that, that part of the ego. Mindfulness is, is a natural experience. Even if, you don't, if you're not interested in mindfulness, you're doing it anyway. You've already done it thousands of times throughout your life. But this six-word sentence, I am not the disturbed one, can accelerate the process much faster. Use it whenever there is a disturbance. Thank you. Give it a go.